lately we have a big topic of submarines i'm personally very interested in submarines lately i don't know much about them and we're gonna watch a movie how a world war ii submarine works and hopefully also how it looks like we're gonna take a look at world of submarines let's this go is how a world war ii submarine works we've built a generalized teaching model from the air how the f can people live in this small thing everything is made to not live there Jeez, you must be very... You must have very good willpower, man, to, to live in a, a thing like this. Our source inspiration comes from Gato and Baleo-class boats. Who? Dude, he has four tubes in the... I have one. The submarine consists of a reinforced tube called the pressure hole, running the length of the ship. If that breaks... Which houses be... all personnel and sensitive machinery. This inner hole is divided Again, it was into like a eight sub individually watertight compartments. Which are separated by reinforced structural okay, submarines barriers are pretty big. If that's the bulkheads. size, special pressure-rated doors separate and isolate these bulkheads, which we'll examine later. An additional this watertight USA cylinder submarine. above the hull forms the conning tower. 1943. Wrapped around this core, there's an outer hull which houses tanks for fuel, ballast water, air, and other essential liquids and gases. Makes sense. Makes sense. A hollow suit. Every time we look at war machines like tanks and stuff, I'm so impressed by engineering, man. You know, when you nowadays you open the news, you open Twitter, everybody's retarded. I was just on Twitter before the stream. The world is fully retarded. Straight up. Everybody's stupid. But there's people out there that are fucking geniuses. They build shit like this. Dude, you could give me probably 500 years to live and I still couldn't build a thing like this. Infrastructure extends along the top of the boat from the main deck. You mean with X? With limber holes so water can flood or drain as needed. Now, let's get into the details. Starting at the front or bow of the ship. There's a large buoyancy tank that's part of the diving system. That's where water goes in. Shutters on both sides cover six forward torpedo tubes. Bro, I wish I had six. The anchor is perched here, connected by 600 feet of chain. The anchor... 600 feet. I would think 600 feet is 100 meters. No. 600 feet in meters, in like the real one, in meters. 182 meter chain. Wow, that's long. That's long. Can free fall when released. That's long. A motorized device called a wildcat hauls the chain back up, storing it in a special chain locker near the bow. A hydraulic ram drives a shaft to tilt the planes, allowing the submarine to, in a way, fly through the water when submerged. The planes fold up while surfaced, since they're no longer needed, and to protect them from rough seas. From here, we can see the forward torpedo room. Look how big torpedoes are, man. That's, that's big boom. There are 16 torpedoes here, with six in the tubes ready to fire, and 10 reloads stored in the compartment. They're 20 plus feet long and 21 inches in diameter. That's that's weighing about 3,000 pounds shit. each. Between the tubes, there's the gyro angle setter, which continuously How much money the angle will make you go down to the Titanic the submarine? Unfortunately, I was born with a huge penis, so I'm not like one of these rich guys that always wants to do crazy stuff to prove how manly I am. I don't give a fuck about firing the Titanic at a different angle or course free diving or than anything. the submarine itself, resulting in a curved shot. These analog computers are one of many such devices on board, which we'll examine in more detail as we encounter them. The torpedoes themselves are expensive, technically advanced machines. The gyro angle setting from the computer is Imagine translated being engineer, man. through a rotating shaft. That's why on the technocracy all the way. To I'm telling the you. Torpedoes in Thank you, uh, Travis Jr. I feel like people that can buy stuff like this, they should rule us. Hundred percent. Rods extend from the gyro rearward to rudders. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now you're losing Every me. torpedo has its own adjusted setting based on its location in the submarine. Torpedo depth and speed are set by hand from controls on the side of the tube. The gyro angle can also be set by hand if needed. There are six movable bunks suspended from the ceiling. But this compartment could accommodate up to 15 beds. Imagine sleeping over a torpedo, man. What the There's fuck? There's a crew's head or... I, so you must be so close to Furbig, man. That must... Bro, could you imagine? 
Could you imagine for weeks sleeping on top of a torpedo, sharing this shitty toilet with a bunch of stinky dudes? A hatch overhead provides access to the escape trunk. Your camera died, Tommy. Why would my camera die, man? Why? Did my feet just touch something? Escape trunk. Which in turn leads to the bridge. Fuck sleeping there. The escape there. trunk can be individually sealed and either flooded or drained. It's a cable with the knots. Flooding may be necessary to equalize inside and outside pressure for Thank safe you. human Gianto, passage grazie, in signore. adverse conditions. Oh, bambini. Bada. Mil grazie. The underwater Prego. log is attached to the port side hole. Heading aft or rearward, we pass through a bulkhead with its watertight door. We've now moved... Imagine dying in a, in a crushed submarine. Your submarine is, is on the ocean floor. You got fucked. They put death charges on you. You're fucked. Water's coming in. Everybody's panicking. That must be one of the worst deaths. Pantry here for serving food to officers, though only coffee and toast are actually prepared here. Oh, With what? food itself coming from the cruise galley. Oh, okay, okay. The adjacent officer's wardroom serves as a mess hall, recreation room, workspace, and meeting room. There are four bunks at the other side. That's like the good ones. That's like first class. With an additional six bunks down the hall. Yeah, these guys have it good. The captain's room is separate from the rest. Oh, this is pure claustrophobia, man. With redundant course indicator and We have to watch the video. Can someone fed me video the where they walk through a thing like this? Just quickly, not 50 minutes. A writing desk. I want to see this RL. There's a small office at the end of the hall with a typewriter for record keeping. From <laughs> officer country, we pass through another bulkhead into the control room. What? That looks packed big IQ, the last man. square inch with state-of-the-art technology for Jesus its time. Jesus Christ. What even is this at shit? At the center, there's a dead reckoning tracer, which takes input from the previously shown underwater log device and the nearby master compass to automatically move a pencil, which draws the ship's course on a map or chart underneath. Genius, man. These people are so clever. It has knobs to make adjustments or recalibrate the device when maps are swapped out. The master gyro compass occupies a large case Look how big underneath that is. a central table with Whoa. a shatterproof glass viewing port. It uses I always suspect that you, you guys know how you watch movies and stuff and like sailing people, people that understand boats and they look at stars and they're like, yeah, we gotta go that way, motherfucker. I always respected shit like this. I think that's really cool if you know how to sail and use a compass and find your course and shit like that. Find true north. Yeah, cool shit. Instead of magnetic north. Magnetic compass accuracy can be negatively affected by other electrical or metal objects, including the ship's hull. At the heart of the gyro compass, up, a shit. spinning element sits suspended in a cup partially filled with mercury. This element's rotation is electrically driven. The cup is part of a hollow metal sphere that is itself suspended in mercury encased by an outer supporting sphere. Jesus Christ. The core apparatus is held and isolated from shocks by a ring of soft springs and flexible metal bumpers with felt tips, <coughs> which extend from this an inner way too gimbal high for me, through connection to an outer I'm gimbal quite ring. Intelligent. You're the compass you maintains day. its own specific orientation apart from the submarine's movement. The highly sensitive spinning core maintains its relationship And to then Earth's again, gravity. you guys laugh at me for technocracy. I'd say whoever designed this should lead the country and not some fuck, you know? Oppenheimer should lead the country, you know? Allowing finite I directional that shit. changes what the fuck? to be continuously Imagine tracked. building this. You got that genius. Above this central table, there's a bathythermograph that charts water temperature at various depths on paper cards. Water temperature affects, among other things, sonar range and accuracy. Oh. Including avoiding sonar detection from other vessels. There's a fathometer, which displays the result of pings to determine... And this brings me back to the point I made when we saw the German guy a second ago, right? We talked about how if you reach veterancy, if you and your crew really know what the fuck they're doing, especially the leaders, knowing to use these, uh, these uh, instruments, you must be so much more effective, man, right? Along the port side wall, which that's, would be the left side of the going submarine up and down. looking towards the front, there's the diving station. With separate wheels like to control the previously shown bow plane angle. And a similar plane at the stern. 
Each wheel has its own water depth to keel gauge. Plane angle indicator. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. An inclinometer that yeah. works something like a construction level using an air Finally, there, there it is to track boat angle. Okay, it's like... With separate glass tubes for coarse and fine readings. In the center, there's a deep depth gauge and a barometer to measure internal air pressure. Moving forward on this side, there's the whole opening indicator panel with status lights which show red for open or green for closed, okay. corresponding to the many vents, exhaust ports, hatches, and so on through which seawater may enter. The boat is ready to dive when all lights are green. Okay. Even then, some air is pumped into the boat and the barometer gauge is checked to verify increased internal pressure, ensuring water tightness. Below that, the main hydraulic controls, which control vents, valves, and many other crucial hydraulic there's systems. There's a little toilet though, that's also good. At the back of this side, there's the trim manifold, which is used to pump water from and to the sea. What is some alien shit? Look at this. What the fuck? What the, what the hell is that? Are you or kidding between me? between tanks. On the what? opposite or starboard side of the control room, Why is he wearing a mask? from the rear, we see the air manifolds and gauges. <laughs> this station manages air throughout the boat. Okay. Air is used in ballast tanks for firing torpedoes to run many gauges and instruments on board for ventilation it's be quick and time events and so on. I'm fully Before lost. That, there's the gyro compass control panel with metal twist knobs, indicator lights, and gauges to oversee gyro compass function and relay readings. To I know what this is. This is when you go to the fair and you have to shoot, and if you hit 10 times, you can get your girl a flower. Various repeating gauges at other locations. At least have some entertainment on board. But no girlfriend. Next to that, there's a large switchboard to monitor and configure switchboard. the many electrical systems on board. And also indicate the status of machinery. Next so much to you have other to train to understand all this. At the front of the control room, there's an auxiliary steering station. The boat's main steering wheel is in the conning tower. An auxiliary gyro compass sits behind this wheel. There are repeater gauges for the underwater log, compass, rudder angle, and motor order telegraph which is used to send motor orders to other parts of the ship. There's a ladder here, which leads to a hatch on the main deck. At the back of the control room, it's also small. We see two large periscope well, that's the periscopes that okay. pass completely through the control room with various equipment control boxes attached near the ceiling. There are I feel like I'm in university again, man. I listen to this shit and it's ultra academic Green and high level, and I just go. Whose alert meant sailors had 10 seconds to get below decks, secure hatches, and begin the dive. But the okay. yellow alarm is for general quarters, meaning sailors would race to battle stations and prepare for combat. And red? What does red do? The red is the collision alarm. Oh, that's not good. When this alarm sounded, sailors closed all watertight doors, among other protocols. Imagine how creepy that is. You get a red alarm and you have to close all the hatches and you're like, are we going to hit something? Is my hatch going to die or the other one's going to die? Which compartment is going to get here, fucked? Which takes us oh, into the conning that. tower. Oh, the conning creepy. tower gets its name from Damn. the root word That's con, where streams. Meaning to conduct or steer. Oh, damn. This is the main attack and navigation center for the ship. Oh, shit. At the center, there are two periscopes. Let's Attack zoom out and observation. get the full view. Wow. Periscopes extend upwards through periscope shears, which are visible at the exterior when the boat is surfaced. Max effective periscope depth is 60 meters feet, is crazy. which I have the eight submarine meters on my can submarine reach right in an incredible 35 seconds. Wells wow. extend from the shears all this the way to the bottom of the pressure crazy hole. Crazy engineering. Wow. With rubber bump stops at the end of the travel. You crazy fucker. The forward scope is the observation or search periscope. It's shorter, but That's thicker like in scanning. circumference, making it easier for the enemy to see. It has superior capabilities in Shouldn't light it not conditions. be painted white? Isn't that stupid? Shouldn't it be painted dark bluish? Below the main viewport. Bro, I just once again changed the meta. 
Change the meta. I could have saved so many lives if they listened to me. There's a radar me. installation. Why would it be white? That doesn't seem good. The rear scope is the gray attack is the best. scope. Yeah, gray, dark, it's bluish, I think. profile makes it harder to spot. Idiot. It's Americans. also about four feet longer, allowing deeper dive depth. Back in the conning tower, handles are unfolded to rotate the periscope. For more space. That's why I put them in. Handles also twist to control other available periscope features. Dude. The attack scope has an optical range. One day, guys, they will have a VR game where you and me will IRL VR control a submarine. Let's see if we can go 10 meters without Finder, crashing. To determine distance Maybe five. To it's going to be good, With though. supporting <laughs> stat meter Chat, I need engine. Which helps derive that. target distance. Chat, that's sort of the people pulling that. angles top to bottom for objects with a known height. It's Turning towards the starboard or right side of the ship looking forward, there's an inclinometer. There's also indicator gauges and controls for various types of onboard radar. In front of that, Is this a submarine that the sonar the control panel I think your brain with might gauges have and knobs to remotely direct various sonar projectors. Visible oh, sonar components include a rotating hydrophone at the starboard side of the bridge mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. standard sonar capability. And two retractable sonar projectors under the hull okay. near the front of the boat for supersonic sounds. That is, sound that humans can't hear without the aid of equipment. Back in the conning tower, there's a ladder which leads outside to the lookout platform above. The main steering station. How scared it must have been! You, you're upstairs. You're fully uh, on top on the surface, and you're checking, and then you see funnel smoke, and you instantly go like ding, 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 alarm, alarm, brr, 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 diving. The fucking stress of that. Is at the forward wall, with the ship's main steering wheel, and familiar gauges for speed and distance traveled, rudder angle, compass repeater, and a motor order telegraph. Right. White blends the best of the horizon the and they're coming wall, from the surface. We see the torpedo firing panel with status indicator lights I don't know. and firing switches for each tube. Oh shit, if he does like this, that's Behind where people that, die. Behind that, the torpedo data computer. At the rear of the control room, there's a separate radio room which is radio. filled Where's with the listening room? Equipment. I think they already saw that. Near where the door, listen? there's a special cipher machine oh, for shit. receiving and transmitting coded messages. Traveling aft or rearward through another pressure bulkhead. Oh, here comes my favorite. Oh, area. that's where I would work. That's right. Hey, guys, I'm making the it's pasta. Don't where worry. The ship's 60 to 70 crew members eat. Not sleep, even bad. And that's kind of good. During off duty. That's like more room than my, my own school's uh, eating Hours. room had. Not bad. All the food for the crew and officers is prepared in this small galley. A large, distinctive How coffee they, urn I have so many questions. Where do they wash the their clothing? Coffee. the end of the coffee. galley for easy access to crew. Oh, we need coffee quickly. Very boring, There's actually. a floor hatch it's for survival. food storage in the hold. That's the storage, okay. The mess area has various Where tables. Where do they wash their clothing? Think of the side of the benches room? that double as storage chests. Apart from meals, the That's crew could relax question, here, man. listen to the radio, or play board or card toilet, games. Right? There's a bookcase at one end and a drinking fountain over the sink among various food storage and preparation compartments. Passing through the curtain at the end of the just mess room by water leads us into the that. crew's quarters. Oh, fuck that. That's like a Thailand hostel. You guys remember when you were 18 and you did work and travel and you were living in Australia and you were sleeping in like this? No, you don't because you never leave your house. But yeah, that's a hostel right here, man. Five dollars a night. There are 36 bunks for sleeping. That's free square meters of individual uh, storage bags fresh suspended water. from the bunk rails. They don't drink too little bit. Bunks used in a shared so rotation between crew members, with some sleeping while others were on duty. There's a dedicated ice cream storage freezer at the starboard side. Hey. Dangerous and stressful conditions aboard submarines meant these sailors were afforded the best food in the Navy to keep up morale. Oh, that makes so much sense. Bro, everyday mac and cheese, bro. I want to go back, to a submarine now. There are two restrooms, two showers. Huh. Where's all the fresh water? Machine. Though? Oh, there's the washing machine. Dude, 60 people. The wa Dude, me and Lisa, we're, we're three people here, right? The washing machine is already fucked. How the fuck do six people keep up the washing machine? We continue rearward. Hey, look at these endings. Heading through a pressure door into oh, the engine. Oh, damn. Room. 
four huge diesel engines provide power for the submarine. You just boiled the salt water? A few different really? types were common for the era. Can someone ask Jet I've GPT how there was fresh water in submarines? Piston model. Each engine is individually rated for 1600 horsepower. The uh, engines that's extend crazy between engines. decks from the bottom to the top of the pressure hole at the sides. They rotate opposite one another for balance. All are supercharged. They always share beds when one is working, the other one is sleeping. The air intake Cringe. has an attached silencer to mitigate noise, which would otherwise be deafening. Even so, the running engines were so loud that operators used hand signals for communication. Damn. Air intake caused a strong breeze through the engine room. Air arrives at the engine room from the main air induction valve, just aft of the conning tower. Seawater is sprayed into mufflers to act as a spark arrester. What? The engines exhaust out through side ports beneath the bridge superstructure. There's an additional smaller seven-cylinder auxiliary engine at the bottom of the pressure hole. There's a ladder at the back of the engine room for access to the main deck. It's because of four engines. I have one engine in my piece of shit submarine. There special fuel ballast tanks with vents, water flood valves, and air blowers that can be used as part of the main ballast system. Water, fuel, air, or a combination of any of these can be distributed to these tanks. Same reason we don't have needed. a water problem in the world, we can always just take seawater. That's the dumbest shit you ever said, Dominic. Good. That's mega retarded. These are supplemented by four normal fuel tanks with valves for compensating seawater to enter so the ship can maintain enough weight to submerge. Salt water is heavier than the submarine's fuel, so seawater is pumped into the tank but settles to the bottom. Oh, they have the balls to mix salt water with fuel because they're not afraid of As them intermixing. Consumed. That's fucking genius. Heading further Bruh. aft, we enter the motor room. The submarine uses a diesel electric setup where each diesel engine has an attached electrical generator. My uncle developed the Power oxygen recycling system of a current submarine and his son is an unsub. What the fuck happened there? When submerged, the diesel engines are shut off, and power from the motors comes from battery banks. That why though? Why are they shut off? Can't you just why? Take up why? A large portion Can't you just push the, the fumes into the ocean water? Area. There are forward and aft battery compartments. With For stealth reasons, but what if you don't want to stealth? But if you submerge, you always want to. You need air. A single battery. Ah, you will lose too much air. Because an engine needs air. An engine is like this, right? And there's this air thing, and then... Pff, about the you size of an energy, outdoor right? trash can. Mm -hmm. These compartments have complex air and water so systems for the engine. ventilation oh, okay. and cooling. Look at all these mechanics in the chat. When surfaced, some of the generator's power is used to charge the batteries. That's a lot of batteries. Now let's return to the motor room. The ship has four electrical motors that operate best at high speeds. Motor shafts pass through a reduction gear since the propellers operate best at moderate to slower speeds. Noise from this reduction genius, gear man. was the loudest sound produced underwater. So much effort went into designing quieter gear assemblies. This from makes me want to play gear, to fire and two main propeller shafts extend outside the ship on each side. Submarines are so pedo, right? They're mostly banned in Max most games. You're not allowed to research using snorkels. all available propulsion sources or is freeze. 21 knots, while max submerged speed under battery power is 9 knots. At max underwater speeds, the batteries only lasted about 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Maximum underwater range is around 100 miles at 3 knots. In practice, most dives were short, and any dive over 16 to 18 hours was considered dangerous. Located just above the motor room, the maneuvering room is the control center for this complex power plant and propulsion Jeez. system. These people have been so and educated. Its various levers control, for example, electrical you motor speed send and rotation direction. They can remotely control. Well, maybe the you can. Engine. Maybe you just take a guy, and after six months, you teach him his position. 
There are gauges for propeller shaft speed, motor order telegraph, repeater I think gauges, if you teach this to me six months, I got this. And smaller gauges to track the complex yeah, yeah. electrical circuitry throughout. The system is highly flexible for many combinations of both diesel engine and battery power for powering onboard systems and the propeller shafts. There's also a fully functional metalworking lathe at the starboard side. A what? The cubicle in the center is packed with components that link gauges and levers to their functional counterparts. Jesus Christ. There's a small engineer's office at the back of the room. <laughs> nice office, bro. It's like the toilet From in a train. here, we pass through the final pressure door into the aft torpedo room. <laughs> the ass torpedo torpedoes room, that here, means. Four in the tubes and four reloads on skids just behind. They're also sleeping there. I've shown six bunks. The so imagine you sleep here, right? You wake up in the morning and you have to walk all the way across the shitty engine room that's fucking blowing your brains out just to get to some food and so some coffee. 15 could be deployed in this room. Worst position in the submarine living right here. These two guys are the most fucked. There's from a while, I would always switch beds around. I would always, you sleep there, yet you sleep there. And here as well. I would always let them sleep somewhere else. Where's the poop go? As I for the know. inside of the boat, the only remaining compartment we haven't seen is the pump room, which is beneath the control room. It houses various air, water, and hydraulic Oh, so how pumps. do you sleep with these engines? When I went to Italy from Livorno to Sardinia, we were in a ship, and me and Lisa had to sleep literally right over the engine room. It, you couldn't sleep. It was impossible. It's just well, all impossible. Behind that and beneath the crew's galley and mess into the storage. water. Yeah, but I want to see exactly where. What's the tube? What's the mechanism? Does the poop go in front? Behind? Where does the poop go Space through? I want to have more details. And ammunition. Submarines had various gun configurations. Our model features two 40 millimeter guns, four and you get used to it after a while. Tower, Probably, huh? I guess. With a shorter range. I don't know. And one gun at the front for longer range targets. What if someone pees in his bed? There are watertight, pressure-proof canisters. I mean, bro, as a human, not getting stressed in this thing. Gun barrels. For some weeks, fuck me. All of these guns were used for anti-aircraft and some surface targets. The main deck has teak wood planks at the center, painted black like the rest of the deck to camouflage. She could be completely invisible to human eyes from overhead craft when submerged. The raised portion at the center is the fair water or sail, which wraps around the conning tower cylinder. There are two target bearing transmitters, which are optical devices to track enemy targets. Air is. I'd like to like see uh, a simulation of an engagement. I'd like to see this, and they're now engaging an attack. And I would, I would like to see an animation how everybody moves and stuff. That'd be used in many critical submarine functions and tasks. There are canisters that supply pressurized air to eject torpedoes from tubes. Other tanks supply air for expelling water from ballast I have tanks already videos to resurface, also called blowing the tanks. There's air supply for many components on board and air for breathing when necessary. Air is so important to humans. The right? ship had about 15 hours of breathable oxygen at dive time. Fresh air could be added up. from stores but would increase internal boat pressure. Releasing emissions of any kind, including air bubbles, might be dangerous in close quarters with enemy craft. Diving. Clever. To dive, all engine and ventilation intake and exhaust ports are closed. Ballast tank vents are opened to allow air to escape and water to enter, inducing a state of negative buoyancy. The bow planes are rotated Germans, how would you to say buoyancy on German? into a dive. Driven by Auf the ship's Keep, forward it? movement. Once the desired depth the number is reached, the videos, I'm so some air is pumped man. back into Imagine ballast designing tanks this. to achieve you're, neutral buoyancy. You're, 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 wow. Water is also 2000 years ago, we were shitting in the bushes, man. For a balanced and now they design stuff like this. I mean, nowadays it's even crazier. 80 years later, they did design even the more fucked up shit. At depth, bow planes are now used to alter the when ship's When it comes depth. to war, we humans really are good with engineering Doors. and innovation. Individual watertight compartments can serve to isolate damaged areas of the hull, so the ship can remain afloat even if one section is... Like, there's, a, there's this one theory about the Fermi Paradox, aka the Fermi Paradox means why do aliens not talk to us, right? 
And one idea is that uh, intelligent aliens that have reached the highest ranks in, in, in technology, what if they never really had wars? What if they had never really had uh, a bullshit like that? What if they were just a race and they loved each other and they grew? And then they look at the human race and they're like, what the fuck? They have much better weapons than us and shit. What if aliens are like, bro, we're not going to touch these. They're going to kill us, man. They have like nukes and stuff. While as the, the aliens like didn't even care about this shit. It's flooded. Because war never mattered to them. As such, special doors are designed what to withstand high pressure conditions. They're installed into the reinforced bulkheads. That's the window where you go. Oh, no, there are sturdy he's dying. rotating I'm levers dying. at the edges of the door called dogs. These submarines are seagoing works of art. That, that is. And even with yeah. the detail I've shown, there's so much more to them than I could cover here. I'm it's, it's in awe insane, of the skilled folks who built these machines. It is pretty quite insane, man. Wow. Let's go actually inside real life. Inside a German World War II submarine. Get ready for claustrophobia, man. Trigger alert! Ooh, nine. Nine, fifth. Nine, nine, fifth! Located in La Beau. What the fuck is La Beau? I'm a German. I've never heard of that in my life. This music, man. Like, they're gonna raid some convoys. Take down some cruise ships full of fucking boomers that cost them a lot of money. It's the last Type 7 in existence. All the others are on the bottom of the ocean, boys. Of oh, 40,000 Germans going to sea. 40,000 even that much. Only 16k came back. Let's take a look. There we go. We got a submarine here. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna take a look. Let's go speed 1.25, man. Welcome to the walkthrough of the U-995, man. I'm ready. Let's do this. Looks much smaller, man. Looks much smaller. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. It, it is pretty big. It is pretty goddamn big. Oh, he's actually talking? Shit, he's talking now. Is he talking German? In World War II, this type of submarine oh, oh, they talk. the backbone of the German submarine strategy to stop supplies Shit, guys, no more from, from music. US. This campaign will call the Battle of the Atlantic and continued for the duration of the war. This guy instantly sounds like a Hoi 4 player. Like you join a Hoi 4 lobby and he's like, Hello guys, today I will be your Germany, Romania, I need you to do anti-tank infantry. During this time, the Allied used That's a convoy a system player. of ships sailing from ports in the US through the western it's approaches to Britain. The German Navy in turn deployed a wolf pack tactic where the submarines would patrol west of Britain with the goal of finding these convoys. When a submarine found a the convoy, it would contact command with the location, composition, speed, and course of the convoy. But the submarine it's would probably not one of the smaller submarines, I would think. The, the information about the convoy was relayed to other submarines in the area, so they could coordinate an attack. Hence, wolf packs. This type of submarine, the Type 7, would have a crew of approximately 50 men sharing a cramped space for months. 50 at people sea. in that shit. Needless to say. It was not Hong Kong lifestyle, man, I'm telling you. 703 of them was built out of 1,152 in total of type 2, 7, 9, and 21. Achterer Torpedoraum, Heckraum, Heck, Torpedoraum, und rechts ein Torpedoausstoß, Köln, mit dem der Torpedo durch den Pressluft aus den Rohr geschoben wird. Oh, fuck. Holy shit, what the fuck is that? I don't even want to watch this. This is the no one gets this shit. torpedo room and the room for the electric engines. Man, perfect the Drex Kabel. Scheiße, Junge. This is the stern torpedo tubes and the control for it. What? And the stern torpedo tube could Shapiro be tube? enabling this up. This is going to shit on Barbie for fucking 10 hours? Forward and aft. Um, and that would be useful in cases where this you your for game? find yourself in the middle of a convoy so you can shoot in both directions. The electric engines were used when the submarine was submerged and it was would be able Luft to travel at about 130 nautical miles at about two knots. So you forgot the but single lever you get a fucked. A lot slower. Imagine you're on sea and you have to get the manual out. Hey, give me the manual, man. What what are we what are, on the check page eighty eight, man? The diesel engines recharged the uh, the submarines. How do you fit fifty people in the shit? You gotta be service. kidding me. And uh, we'll see the batteries when we are... 50 people! 50 people! Like We're not even there yet where the people live. About this is the uh, engine room. It contains two supercharged six-cylinder type machine for Bike Ausberg Nuremberg Mann. What? Uh, each developing 1,160 brake horsepower. 
uh, the American one had much more by Buki Supercharger. These engines allowed the submarine to travel at 17.6 knots on the surface, and the foundation Bruh. for the engines would run the entire length of the room, um, only allowing a passage in. The I already room. know what this room smells. Just like oil. Smells like my grandpa's uh, workstation. Just oily, old oil, man. That's what this smells like. These are the temperature gauges for the diesel engine's cylinders. Schmierölfilter. Ach du Scheiße. Außenbord, Kraftstoff. Anlassluft, Seewasser. Bruh. It's all just random shit. Now, when the engines were running, this would be a... Oh, you think it's cameras inverted? Place to be. It would be dirty. Why would you do that, it though? It would be smelly and it would be hot how do you fit 56 people in there you gotta be used kidding to prepare me meals for up to 50 men using a small electric stove with three hot plates and another when the hot plates were not in use a cover could be Toilet placed on DLC. top to serve as a surface for the preparation of food the sink has taps applying hot and cold fresh water and hot and cold seawater used for washing the How dishes. How do you cook for 56 Above people the like galley this? is a hatch which I, was used I, The one thing I don't get with these with these submarines is, is these 56 people. In the galley we also with find the shift it makes sense, yeah. Okay. The toilet but it was usually filled with provisions. I, so that must be the worst toilet of all times. Actually, actually all jokes aside Oklahoma, I swear to god, the Chinese toilets were much worse than this. This toilet is is a Porsche compared to Chinese toilets. Straight up, anyone chat who was ever in China knows Not this. Used. This toilet shits on Chinese toilets. This, you know, this is the petty officers and non-commissioned officers mess. This room has eight narrow bunks. Since there were more men than bunks, two men would usually share the same bunk. They will do curtains out of shifts. Big Joseph. This is also known as hot bunking. Hot bunking, man. That's probably an app you can get in New York or some shit. Oh, fuck this. This we're now going to the brain of the ship where all the cool stuff is. This is the control room or central. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, this is the beating heart of uh, the beating submarine. heart. It's an abomination. What is this? Who even understands this? <laughs> this room is located directly. And you guys wondered the that the Titan submarine had, sub had the Logitech controller. You want to have this shit? Well, they would probably still be alive. Better than a World War One submarine. Oh, there you go. You even see a screaming ghost right here. Look at that. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. The room is filled Luckily with I'm the born where a global warming kills me, not the Scott and submarine. Turning the submarine and the propulsion controls. It also contains a uh, build pump. That was 40k. That was 40k. This makes me feel bad, man. I I, I don't want to be. We're still, where do where do fifty? So far, we saw eight beds, so that's sixteen people. We're still missing forty people. These red wheels are the control for the aft main balance tank vents. This is the primary uh, bilge pump. Fuck that! I'd rather just I'd rather die in the battle of Stalingrad than this shit. Oh, at least I can freely move. Well, you probably can't when you're suppressed by an MG. Now imagine this thing crashes or you get hit by something and water comes in. Worst fucking death. Wow. Mm. This is the chart table where the captain and the officers would work out the navigation. This is so bad, bro. Like, what, what happens if I do this one? I have so many questions. What if I turn this one? Someone explain that to me. You think that's like an expert that still is alive and he tells you, yeah, this one does that? Also, imagine it's not your shift and there's a problem. Imagine you're in a gunfight, like something important happens, and 66% of the crew is not allowed to do anything because it's not their shift. You lay in bed and you're like... <laughs> hey, Fritz, you think we're okay, man? I don't know, Hans, it's not my shift, bro. I don't give a fuck. Let's play some cards. Have once the what the fuck do you do if it's not your shift? Neutral buoyancy, you just give moral support? Which means that... Uh, the actual dive was controlled by the dive plane. And you can't run around now, the ship because you take away space. You have to stay in your shitty bed. Faster, you could use the negative tank, which was an <laughs> You on prayer duty. Flood. This is the access. They will do backseat gaming. Cunning tower. And up here, the.
attack periscope is located. We actually looked at a small submarine uh, some days ago here on stream, and they are so much different. Holy crap! It's a massive difference. The, uh, Modern submarines are probably better building spaces than periscope. some apartments some of you guys have. This is the. I still don't get periscope. where 40 people are supposed to be. So Everything we've seen, so far we've seen eight beds, which uh, is 16 people. Is that the 40 people are still not accounted uh, for yet. Smaller and harder to see. This is bigger and has better optics, so you get a better view. But during attacks, the attack periscope would be used in conjunction. There's a movie called Das Boot. The, uh, That's crazy, really. TC. That's a movie. Target computer. Never heard of that. Fort tuned the tubes. People were smaller back then. Yeah, man. 80 years ago, everybody was 150. Sure. Okay. This is where one this guy sleeps. This is the commanding officer's private cabin. Uh, uh, very, very, very private, man. Very, very private. Thank you, Clave. The guy has his own bed, bro. Giga this chat. This is the small area he had. It Who does have Amazon Prime? Come on. A curtain which he could pull um, to give uh, give himself a little more, more privacy. I never did a watch party. We should watch those both together. Washroom, listening room. This is the that's the streaming setup right here, man. The listening room. Um, this would uh, contain the underwater listening equipment, which we use to identify contacts around the submarine. And the reason that this was no, no, there's like a button on Twitch, and I don't sound know. Travels a lot farther under the water than it does in the air. So this that is so crazy to me. So the listening guy will sit right here, right? And he will hear... And then his ears will determine where it's from. So he's like, I, he hears it from like this direction. So he puts it here and then he, they can kind of mathematically find out that in this direction, there's an enemy ship. Let's enable the submarine crazy. to actually locate a single ship 20 kilometers away. In your away dashboard, and a, a bunch of squads, click away. the plus, one is watch uh, needless party. To say, that feature I don't is think about that. For the submarine. Now, where do the 40 people live? Tell me. Where the fuck are the 40 people? Maybe here? That's the batteries. This is the batteries that we talked about earlier. Um, these served as the capacity for the electric engines. Here we also have the officers' mess. This is where it's the a game. officers would have their bunks and uh, contracts. Yes, like you fuckers know, you don't These know shit. Are personal, so they wouldn't share them with uh, other sailors. Wait, how many people? Wait, wait, how many people sleep here? Officers again. So that's one, two, three, four. We still have like twenty-eight people unaccounted for. Oh, here and there we get some people. These are very good beds, actually, compared to the others. These are pretty good beds. And back then, there was no phones, right? And maybe no lights. All you had was a picture of your wife at home. That's all you had, bro. You couldn't even scroll Reddit, man. The question is, do I want to watch a movie right now with this stream? I've this never done that before. This is the toilet. It's the second toilet, but, all, but the That's primary actually toilet, good toilet compared to what I've seen in my life. Toilet. And German toilets always a lot of toilet paper. You will never run out of toilet paper. That's like the biggest horror show. Damn! This wow. is the forward torpedo room. I don't have so much damage. The living quarters for up to twenty-seven men. That's as big as rockets are nowadays. And work here. It not only stored the torpedoes, but it also had would have a large part of the supplies that the submarine would carry. Like, At imagine, yeah, you get, like, a telegram message from your wife or something. You'd be so happy, man. Uh, the submarine would carry either steam or electric-propelled torpedoes. Uh, the steam torpedoes would be able to travel longer and was reliable, but it would leave a trail of bubbles on the surface. The electric torpedoes obviously didn't leave a trail of bubbles, but it, they were not very reliable in the beginning of the war and couldn't travel that far. When firing the torpedoes in a German submarine, I still don't get where most of them sleep. Fire, uh, it makes no sense to fire me. Fire was not used because it could be confused with the word for burning fire. Um, instead, loss was used, which essentially means away. Oh yeah, in Germany, you in German you can't say fire because it means there's a fire. So you have to say loss when you wanna fire without having a real fire, you know. Fuck this shit. Submarines can suck my balls. Never, ever, ever.
Darn tootin' partner, you're still here. If you fancy more of this beautiful face, check out these videos and subscribe.